Fight coming up between 11 and 11.30 Eastern time. Now, though, a fighter who roomed with Oscar De La Hoya as an amateur. Raul Marquez is also an unbeaten champion. But last September 13th in Las Vegas, the southpaw dodged a major bullet that threatened to splatter his perfect record and cost him his crown. Marquez took on Keith Mullings, a short notice replacement thrown into a title fight when Yori Boy Compass was injured in training. Mullings seized the moment that night. He carved up Marquez above both eyes and nearly took away his title. Raul Marquez was bloodied, battered, and to many, a beaten champion that night. But he squeezed out a victory. Marquez said both hands were swollen from the third round on. We have the pictures to prove it. But excuses aside, the Houston Southpaw has spent the past three months frustrated and tired of explaining why he didn't perform. Now he's got his chance again as he's about to finally meet Mexican brawler Yori Boy Campos. Raul Marquez told us he wants to be a star of this show and the best fighter of the night. Now let's go down to Jim Lampley and see if he delivers. All right, Nick Charles, thanks very much. We come back to ringside for Raul Marquez against Yori Boy Campus. This should be a high contact battle. And you saw the video of Marquez's swollen and cut eyes in the late rounds of his battle with Keith Mullings. That was September 13, less than three months ago. There are many of us here at ringside tonight who fear on Marquez's behalf that he may be getting back into the ring too quickly and that he could suffer more extreme damage than he suspects against Campus, who is, as I mentioned, a high contact fighter. Campus is not hard to hit, but he's going to hit you back. Yeah, he's, he's a prototypical uh, Mexican aggressive, tough fighter. Lost only twice, and in those occasions, to two outstanding fighters in Trinidad and Lopez. Only the second official title fight in a 71-bout career. Pretty amazing. But uh, as I mentioned before, one of the most dazzling on-paper records in the sport fighting mostly in Mexico, but with a lot of fights against recognizable opponents here in the USA. Yori Boy Campos has 68 wins and only two losses. And there's Raul Marquez, recently re-nicknamed El Diamante by his dad, who wants him called that, means the diamond. Marquez saying, I'm a diamond in the rough, I'm gonna polish myself, and then I'm gonna fight De La Hoya. Somewhere down the road, he was De La Hoya's roommate at the 1992 Olympics in Barcelona. There's the pro record, 28 and 0 with 20 KOs. Maybe the toughest fight, that split decision win over Marquez, or over uh, Keith Mullings on September 13. And you saw the damage that he took to his eyes. He says that his biggest obstacle in the fight was that his hands were poorly wrapped or incorrectly wrapped for the tight gloves prior to the fight. And consequently, they swelled to twice their size or more during the fight. Marquez tells us from the third round on, every punch was excruciatingly painful for him because every time he'd land, his hands were uh, recoiling in electric agony. And this is the scene earlier tonight as the same man, Jacob Duran, one of his uh, regular cornermen, wrapped his hands again prior to this fight. They're using a slightly different technique, and you can see the pads between those chronically swollen knuckles of his, Larry. Now he's had both hands broken in the ring. His knuckles do protrude, and he feels that he doesn't get an even surface when they're not properly wrapped. Fighters' records tonight are being brought to you by The Ring, the Bible of Boxing. And one more look at Yori Boy Campos' record, 68 wins, the two losses, both by knockout, to Felix Trinidad and Jose Luis Lopez, two of the better welterweights in the sport, 58 KOs among his 68 wins. Yori Boy is from Navajoa, Mexico, a place with a rich Mayan tradition. He says he thinks of himself as a Mayan warrior. For a long time, people said that Yori Boy was an Indian nickname. He says, well, yeah, it comes from the Indians in the area, but it's what they call a Blanco, a white person. So Yori Boy is the Indian name for me as a white person. Feel the tape, Yori Boy Campus against Raul Marquez, and you will see that they're similar in age, half-inch height uh, advantage for the southpaw Marquez, he took a while to weigh in yesterday, had to squeeze himself down to 153 and a half, and he has a six inch reach advantage as well. Punch stat numbers, Larry Merchant. And here we get a profile of how active these fighters are. You can see that Marquez 
uh, throws more punches. Uh, he is a more active fighter. Campos throws a lot of big punches. You can see that's reflected in the number of jabs they throw. Campos might throw more jabs in this fight because his camp is convinced that Marquez's eyebrows will not hold up through a long, hard fight. Rules of the bout, Harold Letterman. Same rules in all three title fights tonight, the new standardized rules of boxing. Raul Marquez and Yuri Boy Campus is scheduled for 12 rounds. There is no standing eight count, no three knockdown rule. Only the referee can stop the fight, and you cannot be saved by the bell at any round, including the 12th and final round. Jim. For the official particulars, let's go up to Michael Buffer. Ladies and gentlemen, by way of Caesars Atlantic City, top rank incorporated along with your undisputed king of beers, Budweiser, present world championship boxing, sanctioned by the New Jersey State Athletic Control Board. Boxing Commissioner Larry Hazard, Sr. This bout is also sanctioned by the International Boxing Federation, President Robert W. Lee, supervisor at ringside for the IBF, Marion Muhammad. The three judges scoring this bout on a 10-point must system will be John Potteray, Paul Venti, and Nelson Vasquez. And when the bell rings, your referee in charge of the action, James Condon. And now, ladies and gentlemen, 12 rounds of boxing for the IBF Junior Middleweight Championship of the World. Introducing first, fighting out of the blue corner, Weighing 154 pounds and wearing red trimmed with white, he brings an outstanding professional record into the ring of 68 victories, 58 by knockout with only two defeats. From Navajoa, Mexico, here is the challenger, Yori Boy Campo. And his opponent across the ring, fighting out of the red corner, wearing gold trimmed with black, and weighing in at 153 and one half pounds. This 1992 USA Olympic team member now has a perfect professional record of 28 victories without a loss. 20 by KO. Ladies and gentlemen, from Houston, Texas, presenting the undefeated IBF Junior Middleweight Champion of the World, Raul El Diamante Marquez. Gentlemen, gentlemen, good evening. You were giving your instructions in the back. Are there any questions? I caution you again, gentlemen, to protect yourself at all times. Good luck, Amanda. Best man win. Touch gloves. Have a nice fight, gentlemen. The judge, Paul Venti, was substituted just today for the previously appointed IBF judge who was from Houston, Marquez's hometown, and in another infamous decision of his, had called the fight between Junior Jones and Orlando Canizales of Texas, 11 to one for Canizales when Jones had won the fight. That's the kind of research that all commissioners should be doing into who who the judges are, what their predilections are, what their backgrounds are, where their conflicts of interest might be. And again, credit where credit is due. The guy clearly shouldn't have been scoring the fight after scoring Canizales, the winner of 11 of 12 rounds in a fight that Jones won by split decision, and he was removed, justifiably so. First round here, Marquez, regarded by almost everybody as the superior boxer and fighting out of that southpaw stance will want to establish his jab here George and work behind it. That's true because Marquez uh, is the superior boxer. Compass he was, he's not interested in jabbing although a jab could work for his advantage. He's interested in getting the big shots in and getting out of the way. Campos starts out in that boxing stance as you see when the going gets heavy and they begin to trade shots you'll see Yori Boy Campos square his body up which is a mark that a guy doesn't mind taking a little punishment to give it. And that's true. And of course the uh, campus corner Miguel Diaz uh, in charge as Larry Merchant pointed out quite aware of the problems Marquez experienced against Mullings with his eyes and hoping to target that area of his face as the fight goes on. During this feeling out period, George, I have to ask you, with 70 stitches on his face from a fight less than three months ago, do you think Marquez should be here or did he have no other choice? 
I think it's one of those no other choices because how often are you going to highlight your skills but on Oscar De La Hoya show how many he's going to have this year you better be on every one of them and he he's probably had to say that to himself I cannot afford to miss this outing. Marquez sensitive to the fact that he doesn't often hear his name in speculation about whom De La Hoya might fight in the future. You always hear the names Trinidad and Norris and Quarte and Raul was saying to us yesterday wait a minute I'm out there I'm unbeaten I roomed with him at the Olympics how come everybody doesn't look forward to a De La Hoya Marquez fight. Marquez. Campos being uncharacteristically cautious here in the first round. Probably because he's going against a southpaw right George and the softball and a softball that he's heard about for a long time who can get in good combinations quick. All you need to do is just drop your guards one second. He's going to make you pay. Marquez is that good. You saw Marquez countering with the right hand as Campus stepped in. Campus has thrown straight right hands a couple times. Part of the book against the southpaw. Left hook to the body. Straight right hand to the head. We haven't seen him get a left hook to Marquez's body yet, but he's attempted the straight right hands. Right now, Raul dominating the exchanges with his jab. And as we go to the corners where Spanish can be spoken in either corner and certainly will be in the campus corner, our translator is Hector Garcia. No, no, porque bajas la mano cuando tiras el jab. Okay. You have to keep using that jab. Las manos no bajes la mano cuando tiras el jab. Don't put your guards down. Keep those hands up. And uh, close up to this guy. He's waiting. Move up, move up a little more. Just move up. Keep moving side to side. Go get him. Relax. You must relax. Don't, for, don't forget you have to move that left foot. You move that left foot inside, and that guy's not going to hit you. O only inside. Second, Just fight him inside. Two, let's go. Seconds, hustle up. As hustle you can up. see in Marquez's corner, they're Wait working on the court. eye already as bell. a preventative measure with the Two. end swell and then a salve. They'll keep that cold steel end swell in a uh, bucket of ice to keep it cold and work it between rounds. Try to prevent swelling. And you saw Marquez land a straight left hand early in this round, and Yuri Boy comes back with a right hand of his own. Yeah, Marquez could have, should have been uh, a little comfortable keeping things the way they were. Keep keep him on the outside, landing the better shots and the combinations, waiting until the fight grows on, making sure there are not on any cuts. No, knock, no knockdown. No right knockdown. hand called no knockdown by referee James Condon, no even though it appeared that Campus's glove might have touched the canvas, but Condon obviously ruling it a slip. The distance is shortening between the two fighters in this round, and as the distance shortens between them, on paper you'd have to say that's a campus advantage, but it's Marquez who's taking advantage right now. Yeah, I think it's to a disadvantage for Marquez. He's got the reach. He has the better combination. Stay on the outside. Things can only get dirty when you mix it up with this big compass. Well, both men landed in single digits in the first round, according to CompuBox, so both men might have felt as though they needed to get a little closer to do some damage. Yuri Boy is very confident when he's going forward, landing a shot here and there. He's uncomfortable when he has a moving target. Marquez's job is to keep circling, give him angles, not let himself get trapped against the ropes. He's done a pretty good job of commanding the ring space in the first two rounds. But I think I see some red swelling already above the right eye of Raul Marquez. we get a better look between rounds. And Marquez, he lands his jab, but he never moves his head afterwards. You do that jab, move your head. Campus has a lot of scar tissue himself. He's certainly not immune to cutting. And George, they're letting out the shaft in there. There's some hard punching going on in round two. Yeah, That's true. They're not bunting here. <laughs> hard left hook to the body by Campus. Hard left hand upstairs Stand by Marquez. Let him go. Let him go. Stay the good thing about Marquez, in the old days, we had fighters getting the old butterflies and things and the eyes would open easily. But when you go into the plastic surgeons now, they go inside with stitches and outside. So chances that that eye, same eye shouldn't open that quick. Yeah, but I already might see a drop of blood. I could be mistaken, but I thought I saw a, thought I saw like a tear of blood in the corner of the eye already. Well, we'll see between rounds what's going on with the right eye of Raul Marquez. But in the meantime, 
He's established some of the things he would want to establish here in round two. Popping campus often with the jab, landing a couple straight left hands. He's taken a couple of right hands. In and he, that was a butt there, and those butts can open those eyes up a lot quicker than the punches. Good point. Yeah. It just appears to Still be red on a Still closer inspection. Break. Still was next. The thing about soft paw and right hand, butts. Well, and in the first round, their feet were overlapping, and uh, Marquez was often stepping on campus's lead foot, which often happens when you have a southpaw okay. against a conventional fighter. No, 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 okay, tú, tú muévete para la derecha y tírale. Ok, comienza con los golpes arriba, ok? Ok, ok, lo que hicimos, las combinaciones ya para dentro. Arrímate, arrímate con tu jab, no, no, no eches el cuerpo para adelante, ok? Ok, Tu cuerpo, mi estás bien, estás bien todavía. You're right, you're right, baby. Ok, ok. Use those combinations on top. And get closer to this guy. You have to get closer in order to hit him in the body. He's, he's not throwing that hard. Don't, don't bend over. Just, just keep the, throwing those combinations. Here we see Marquez shooting the jab and another. Very composed. Seconds out. Let's go, seconds. Against a strong, experienced opponent. Wait for the bell, Raul. Wait for the belt. This appears the, the potential for a war of attrition has already presented itself as we watch between rounds working on Marquez's eyes. And perhaps that has given Marquez some urgency here, George. Well, he, a, he should stay away from the urgency now. This fight, because uh, Yuri Boy is, has a tendency, he's going to distance if he can. Don't rush it. Just win this fight on points. Move on to your next fight next year. In the opening seconds of the round, referee James Condon twice warning Yori Boy Campus not to hold Marquez behind the neck and also warning Marquez for a low blow after he landed one south of the border against Campus. Pressure on Marquez to be first in these exchanges so and that he can maintain distance between himself and Campus. You be first and finish up with one, two, three. Don't ever finish with just one shot because your boy is going to get one in also. Get off his neck. Everything get off should his be neck. one, two, three. Finish it up. Be first, be last. Uh huh. Good body shot by Marquez. Condon didn't like it. Thought it was too low. That's two warnings That's two. against Marquez for that. So you got two warnings against Marquez for the low blows, two warnings against Campus for holding behind the head. And he also missed another low blow that Marquez threw when he, because he couldn't see it from the angle he was at. So Marquez is finding, for some reason, he's going low. I'm not sure what it is. It's not his. It's profile. A couple of crisp combinations from campus as they came back together. And now it appears there's either a cut or an abrasion under the right eye of Marquez. You saw them working over the right eye between rounds. A lot of these things are happening to Marquez because he's not finishing up the shot. He goes one and wait. You're not going to back off Yori Boy campus with one shot. No, you go with a combination, you get a quick knockdown. Yeah, but he's landed some heavy shots on campus here. Somebody has dropped their mouthpiece. I'm not sure which fight. And now the blood is coming from the right eye of Marquez. Well, we told you about the widespread suspicion that Marquez was back in the ring too soon. George articulately pointing out some of the reasons why Raul wanted to be in there tonight. The importance of doing this piece of business, but his eyes are starting to look bad already. Marquez should have went to his corner. Wandered around aimlessly. Get off, Get off his neck. Stop. Stop. Stay off his neck. <laughs> Referee James Condon doing a good job trying to control these two warriors. Blood in both eyes already for Raul Marquez, and the pressure mounts against him. It's going to be awfully hard for him to fight through 12 rounds if his eyes continue to swell and cut at this rate. Time! You have to move to your left. Yeah, yeah, it's a piece of cake. Raul, Raul, 
Yeah. Usa tu llaveo, mijo. Use your jab, Raúl. Usa tu llaveo, tus you keep, you have to use your jab and you keep use your combination. Move your body from side to side. You have to push him back. You have, with your body, push, push him back. Come on, you have to, you have to, you can do it. That's left hand. Use that, use that left hand. Okay. This time, move to, move to the right. This time, move to the right. Okay. And use, use your left hand to his, to his chest. And push him. Push him. The exact words of what trainer what? Miguel Diaz, who trains campus before this fight, were his eyes won't hold up by the eighth round. The doctor will have to stop Stay it. Stay off his neck. Let him go. Let us see. Well, looks like a prophecy that's got a chance, that's for sure. It's all because Marquez didn't want to box. For some reason, he felt he had to mix it up. It wasn't necessary. Win these fights on points by keeping your range, throwing combinations, and getting out of the way. But sometimes a guy can just outwill you into fighting his fight. I mean, Yori Boy Campus is one of those sluggers who isn't going to take no for an answer. Marquez is an Olympic champion, Olympic participant. He's been all over the world. He knows better than anyone. Keep your distance, win this thing on points. Because that doctrine comes from the Olympics. Not an Olympic champion, but yes, but an Olympic fighter on the United States team in 92. Remember, Point the only down. gold medalist on that team was Oscar De La Hoya. Good left hand from Marquez in there. He needs to Get do something back. to can create more side-to-side -side movement and create the angles that will make it hard for Campus to land straight on. And he's doing some boxing there. If he keeps that up, things can only get better. Give his cut man in his corner a chance to work on his face. And I mean, we've seen cuts and abrasions improve over the course of the fight if the cut man has a chance to do his job and the fighter boxes. Yeah, and this is what Marquez is doing now. He's boxing. He is a, is a superior boxer. Why not use that skill? Campus wants a straight on target. He doesn't want an opponent who moves side to side. Now, now he is... grabs Marquez behind the head again, but this time Condon didn't say anything about it. You land a good shot like Marquez did, and you have a tendency to want to get Let one go. good one. Forget Turn about loose. that. Let's stretch this fight on. Dazzle this guy with your superior boxing neck. ability. It's a good right jab by Marquez now. He's Campus beginning to find a couple of opportunities to get Marquez near the ropes. Marquez needs more head movement, more ducking and slipping, more of that. He needs to fire the jab while he moves. And use your footwork. Don't reach in for anything. If it's not there by the just arm reach, Get don't reach in. If it becomes a slugfest, as at Stay some times neck. it has been, one fighter's cut and the other isn't. Break. Let him go. Let him go. Turn him loose, Raul. Turn him loose. <laughs> Raul's Marquez corner should tell him now box. We like boxing. The crowd loves boxing, especially when you cut. They expect you to expect you to box your way out of these situations. And it's not just the cuts. Both eyes are swelling up. So as Yore Boy Campus and Raul Marquez complete another stanza, let's quickly go to the locker room to take a look at one of the combatants in the uh, main event. When I say break, I expect you to break clean. If there's a knockdown, you go to the first move to call and you say this, I'll take it, come out, okay? Three knockdown moves is not in effect. There's no, there's no standing any count. You cannot be saved by the bell in any round, okay? When you keep the punches sorry, off, I don't, I don't want any low punches, I don't want any kidney punches, or any rabbit punches. Watch your head, head inside, okay? I expect you to give me good swing. Cortez giving instructions to Oscar De La Hoya and trainer Robert Alcazar. No Gil Clancy in that picture. Picture tells the forbidding story for unbeaten champion Raul Marquez. Marquez has landed 108 punches in the first four rounds. Campus has landed only 76, but of the 76 punches Yori Boy Campus has landed, 69 are power shots, and many of them targeting those eyes. Break! Let him go! Let him go! Out of the 
Marquez again makes the mistakes of reaching in for his shots, and he should be keep everything on the outside. And he's standing still, not using his feet enough yet, Let George. Go. Go. Whenever he rattles Yuri Boy, he seems to close in, and that's a mistake. Let him go. Harold Letterman, how'd you score through the first four? Jim, three rounds to one, 39-37, Raul Marquez. I gave him the first three rounds, I gave Campus the fourth. No, Jim, listen to me. No, Yuri no, Boy is no, circling no. to the right. You never circle to the right against the southpaw. This guy's doing it the whole fight. He circles into the left hand of Marquez, and Marquez nails him with that left hand. For God's sake, tell him to go to the left. Trading shots in the middle of the ring. Campus got one in that was close to below the belt. But believe me, whenever there are some trading of shots, it's all working for Yuri Boy. Because one I gotta agree shot with you. from him, you start, the corner is not able to work on both eyes because you have a cut on one side. Marquez's game should be hit and move. Right now, he's hitting and getting hit. And Yuri Boy has been affected by going to the body at this point. Marquez finding out that Yuri Boy's chin is a little stronger here tonight than it was against fighters like Jose Luis Lopez and Felix Trinidad, both of whom were able to knock him flat. Get off his neck, break! Let him go, let him go! Good body punch by Yuri Boy. Right eye closing rapidly for Marquez. Keep him up! The thing about Marquez, he's never been in with this kind of body puncher in Yuri Boy. And Yuri Boy for a few rounds trying to target the eyes. Almost forgot about body punching, but he's come Break. back to the Let downstairs arena th in this Let round. And that's your ben beneficial punch. When you're in with a younger, quicker fighter, go to the body, stay to the body, come up only for air. <laughs> Well, if I'm Campus's trainer at this point, George, I'm liable to tell him, OK, you've done the damage to the eyes. It's there. You don't even have to worry about it. That's go right. to the body and bust him up. No better said. Break. Let him go. Let him go. Let him go. Let him go. No need to target the eyes anymore. The damage is done. Now, whenever Mar uh, Marquez bounces around now, he always finds the ropes. This is where you want to box it. You want to box it, always be back to the ropes, only a couple of feet from it. Tough sledding for Raul Marquez. Time. His face, a grotesque mask already after five rounds against Yuri Boy Campus. The water, I have the water. El Rafael. Jody. Jody. Why are you crossing your legs? You have to put the left foot forward. Your left foot for, has to be forward. Left foot up. You have to get closer to this guy. You have to get inside. And move. You have to move quite a bit. You have to move a lot. Cover yourself inside. And just short punches. Get inside. And, and then just come back hard. Let's go seconds, hustle up. Six. Let's go, Roll. Let's go, hustle up, my man. Six. Let's go. Six. Referee James Wipe Condon making please. absolutely certain both fighters know that they're going into round six. In the fifth round, Campus landed 39 of 68 power shots, 57%. Obviously, as it gets harder for Marquez to see, it's harder for him to stop the coming Campus onslaught. Marquez very much on the defensive as this round begins. Marquez is starting to think about this time, like any other fighter, like myself. When you've been told, look, your eyes are okay, nothing's, nothing's wrong, you can do it. Then all of a sudden, your fighting cuts. Blood is coming down your face. Disappointment sits in, and that's what you have problem with a fighter, trying to motivate a disappointed fighter. The corner is going to have problems. Well, he showed the, the kind of uh, combative, combativeness he has when he fought Mullings, and he was in all kinds of trouble, and he came back at the end of the fight, so... But sometimes the disappointment that you, it wasn't supposed to happen. It's a lot 
worse than when you expect it to happen. He pulled out the Mullings fight by winning all four of the last four rounds on one judge's scorecard and three of four on another judge's scorecard. Interestingly, th the, interestingly the third Break. judge was giving Let three of the last Turn four loose. rounds to Mullings. But the twelfth round ultimately swung the fight in Marquez's favor when he come out or came out with badly swollen and cut eyes and won the round Let anyway. Him Let him go. Turn him loose. Turn him loose. I think it's a good opportunity for Marquez to kind of faint his right uh, left hand, faint it a little bit, come back with the hook, things can change. Hard for me to understand why between rounds, Raul Marquez's father and trainer Arturo Marquez was telling him to get closer to campus. I don't know. I'd want him to move away and use his feet more. I don't think he fights well but moving backward. That's not who he is. And campus chases him down every time. It, it's 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 not a winning formula for him. This kind of stuff. I I believe his his corner knows him best and knows he's got to stay in there and beat campus to the punch. He, I don't think he has much choice because otherwise this is going to continue to happen. Campus is going to look like he's winning these rounds because he's the aggressor. Well, break. Let I think go. it's going to be hard him for him Tell to win loose. rounds looking like this. That's a very good point. Now Marquez is starting to reach with no power on that straight left hand. Not a sharp round for Raul guy. Marquez. Stop. 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 Let him go. Time Campus, in. who tends to look a little sloppy even when he's good, is just grinding away in there. Breathe in, real hard. Breathe in hard. Breathe in hard. You need deep. Get closer to this guy. Throw those hard punches. Start slow and throw those hard punches. No, no. 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 Here you see how Marquez looked against Mullings when he was busted up 70 stitches worth. Seconds out. Uh, by comparison, he looks a lot Let's better tonight, but I don't know if he feels Seven. any better. And from what I've seen, Seven, George, it's, it's the swelling of the right eye that's doing more damage to him than the blood that's coming from it. It's preventing good visuals. I right. can't go. see it well. Go, it's his Turn lead eye. It's Turn the eye loose. that's pointing toward the opposing fighter. Can he see out of that right eye, George? No, it's so horrifying when you go to your corner and, and you can't see. And you got to even hide it from them because you don't want them to over show it as far as letting people emphasize it by showing it to the audience. Well, this is what his father wants. He wants him to get inside and try to beat Yori Boy to the punch in there. But Campus takes advantage of the opportunity to bang to the Break. body. Keep him up. Marquez is going back to the one shot at a time. That's just, it's not going to work with Yuri, boy. Well, this is war. They're going to, the, the fight may be decided right here. Marquez is saying, okay, let's, we've had an even first half of the fight. Now let's see who's better right here. And Marquez lands some short right hands and a left hand in there and backs Campus up with some of his most solid shots since the first and second round. Let him go. And this illustrates your point, Larry, about this is what kind of fighter he is. Yeah. And he's able to make Yuri Boy back away from this and start boxing. I'm telling you, it's all about hero tonight. Well, yeah, you'll, you'll never downgrade Raul Marquez for his courage. Three good uppercuts in a row from Campos. He's not made Campos back up, and that's what you want him to do. Turn him loose. If you're going to stand toe to toe. This is strength, conditioning, will, right here. Power against power, Raul Marquez against Yori Boy Campos. And Campos finishing the exchanges now. He is relentless. You see it was Marquez who backed up. Yep. This is what Yori Boy wants. 
Get off his neck. Marquez badly troubled now. Blood flowing from above his right eye. No way he can see out of that eye. He can feel the target when it gets close. It's going to be awfully hard for him to pinpoint it. Bad business. 70, yeah. step, step, uh, 70 stitches on September 13. You just can't do it. Now that's the answer right there. You can't do it. Wait, he needs to be in a fight of this nature let after having so many stitches just a couple of months ago. But you indicated earlier, George, that he didn't that he didn't have a choice in a sense. You're right. Sometimes you got to make choices. Yeah, but this was just impossible. Yeah. Against a tough guy like that, that's yep. a heck of an assignment. And Campus pounding Marquez around the ring as the round comes to a close. Let me see. Set. Roll. Roll. You want to fight? Are you okay? Warner trying to hide Raul's eye from the doctor. Can you see okay? I'm not here for it. I'm not here for it. We're going to go another one. You don't have to change punches like this in front of this guy. Push this guy back. Push him back. And turn around. Don't, don't exchange punches with this guy like this. No, that's a closed eye. Let's go. You heard the doctor advise the referee that he has one more round. Take that mouthpiece off. And you recall what I said earlier that the trainer, Miguel Diaz, said the eyes won't help. Hold up, the doctor will have it stopped by the eighth round. We are in the eighth round. At what point, George, does it become the responsibility of Marquez's corner not to allow their fighter to be damaged anymore? Well, you have your father in the corner, and you see your fighter's getting the worst of it. He's got an excellent career. This is the time you save face by saying no, and the fighter can always argue you shouldn't have done it. Well, Marquez is giving everything he's got here. He's trying to do a, a gaddy here. You don't want him knocked down and counted out because he's got still got an excellent career. But he's a champion, and if he wants to give it this one round to try to to try to get back into it, you got to let him go. It's going to be abundantly clear to every ringside observer, every expert here, that he was unwarrantedly jeopardized by bad business here tonight. But he's trying to pull it out with courage. Hard left hand, hard right hand before it by Raul Marquez. Crowd starts to get behind him, hoping for a miracle. Because his vision is so messed up now, it's hard to get a good shot. And you saw Campus land that thunderbolt left. Marquez in trouble again. If what the doctor said goes, he's got only a minute and a half left to fight. This is when you start thinking about all of those training exercises, all of those training camps. Marquez is thinking, hey, what it has been for a fight. Bear down and fight back. If you can't do anything else, you can always fight. The referee is watching Marquez very closely, looking for the slightest opportunity to step in and stop the fight. Well, I'm not sure they'll be able to bargain for one more round. So if Raul has anything left, he'd be well advised to spend it right here. Yeah, I said he's trying to pull off a Gaddy. The difference is Arturo Gaddy has a knockout punch, and Marquez doesn't. Not at least not against the fighter. Thunderous right hand, and that'll stop it. An excellent stoppage. No reason for him to take another punch like that. That was a proper death knell for this fight. Yuri Boy Campus gets a win against a fighter who shouldn't have been in the ring against him. We've had some good referees tonight. They stepped in and watched things clearly. That Great was, referees. Yeah, that was exactly the moment. Yeah. But I will say this. I don't know that he can beat Campus, I or not. I don't know that that was the difference. Campus fought very well. We've seen him do this before. 
He was only beaten by two very outstanding fighters in Lopez and Trinidad. He came up against a fighter tonight who's a well-conditioned, a highly motivated fighter who was perhaps an overachiever in a way. Didn't have the natural gifts of Lopez or Trinidad. I don't know, Larry, you give me six months, Marquez not thinking about his eyes, I can see a different outcome. It could happen. You may be right, and he'll get that six months now. <laughs> <laughs> it's the eyes. The eyes were the big problem, and he just could not see. A lot of times he turned away, even in, when the referee stopped it, he just couldn't see. 70 stitches, less than three months, it was folly. Final punch stat number. The swelling more than anything. 210 out of 614 for the very brave Raul Marquez. 220 out of the 468 thrown almost all power punches for Yori Boy Campus, whose determination translated to a well-deserved victory. Let's go to Michael Buffer for the final decision. Ladies and gentlemen, before we give the official time, how about a round of applause for these two fighters for eight rounds of action in the junior middleweight division. From Caesars Atlantic City, referee James Condon has to call a halt to the bout. The official time, two minutes, 29 seconds of round number eight. The winner by knockout victory and new junior middleweight champion of the world, Yori Boy Campos. Campos is just 26 years old, but he's been at this since before his 16th birthday. He's been a great warrior. Nice to see him so exultant at a moment like this. Interestingly, the three scorecards show 67-67 uh, on one card, even after seven rounds. Campus leading by a point, 67-66 on one card. And Marquez leading by a point, 67-66 on another. So the fight was a flat-footed draw through seven rounds on the scorecards. Uh, it, was a, it was very close at that point, but obviously Campos had been coming on since the fourth round. Nick? Well, Yori Boy Campus wanted a slugfest, and uh, Raul Marquez was happy to comply. And what happened is Marquez walks away without his belt. The new champion is Yori Boy Campus. But as you said, fellas, uh, we certainly uh, improbably haven't seen the last of Raul Marquez, a young fighter with a lot of talent and certainly, as we saw, a lot of heart. Two more title fights.